At Savvy Services for the Blind, we believe in full inclusion of thoughts, ideas, and full participation in our world. This includes full inclusion in literacy. This is why it's important for us to participate in this event. Not only are our students learning to read Braille fluently and make it a full part of their everyday lives, but we think it's important for them to participate in advocacy as they use their newly developed skills in participating in this event. We're very excited to be a part of it. My name is Bliss and I'm reading an excerpt from the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian for Band Book Week. I have all sorts of physical problems that are directly the result of my brain damage. First of all, I ended up having 42 teeth, 10 more than usual, 10 more than normal. I went to the Indian Health Service to get some teeth pulled so I could eat normally. But the Indian Health Service funded major dental work only once a year, so I had to have all 10 extra teeth pulled in one day. And what's more, our white dentist believed that Indians only felt half as much pain as white people did, so he only gave us half the Novocaine. Hi, my name is Jenny. I am going to be reading an excerpt from the book Crank for my readout video for Band Book Week. On Brie, I suppose she's always been there, vague as a soft copper pulse of moonlight through blossoming seacoast fog. Spare me those Psych 101 labels. I'm no more schizo than most. Brie is no imaginary playmate, no overactive pituitary, no alter ego moving in. Hers is the face I wear, treading the riptide, fathomless oceans where good girls drown. Besides, even good girls have secrets, ones even their best friends must guess. Who do they turn to on lonely, moon-shadowed sidewalks? I'd love to hear them confess. Who do they become when night descends, a cool puff of smoke, and vampires come out to party?